All right, we now return. Let's see, uh, I'm going to save to here. All right, this time I did not crash, <laughs> thankfully. I am hurting on the health, however, so I may end up uh, taking... Hey, thanks for saving my sorry ass. I better hightail it back to Klamath. See you there. Indeed. Back to Klamath. Oh, because I'm radiate... God damn, I should have... It was dumb. Uh, back to downtown. I gained perception points back. A thousand experience points for rescuing Smiley. Right. Um, I am radiated, so I should definitely give myself a little rat away. So now we're, we're done there. Good. Um, can I... What time is it, Pip-Boy? Ten in the morning. Can I maybe give myself a little first aid? You fail to do any healing. Yeah. Let's see, my perception is all back. Well, I may as well use these. These are cheap and I have a billion of them, so. And right now I don't think that I need too many. Uh. Yeah, yeah I may as well take them all. Why not? Uh, I don't think I need too many, um. Perception points. Right. You're the one that found my smiley. Thank you. Thank you so much. Smiley got lucky this time. You just tell him that. You just tell him to be a bit more careful. Well, I just don't know what we would ever do to thank you. No thanks is necessary. Help was needed, and I was there. Well, money's always nice. Uh, if you could consider Sulik's debt paid, that would be reward enough. I'll talk to Meta, and she'll take care of things with Sulik. You might want to talk to her also. Thank you. I'm sure Suluk will be grateful for your forgiving his debt. I'll talk to Maida right away. Glad you don't need Suluk anymore. There's something I want to ask you. Okay. I'll sure be glad to have that damn tribal away from here. Okay, well, somehow I think Suluk might actually miss being here. But we'll be back to visit sometime, I'm sure. Right now, though, I need something. Do I? I think Sulik's going to be a lot better off away from without you. Uh, do I need anything? What do you need? Uh, I need to buy some things. You want to barter? Yeah. Do I, though? I just actually want to see if you got any money in the meantime. Uh, you do. Good. Okay. In that case, I will be back to trade with you at some point in the future. Which is not right now. You're a tough bargainer, but fair. Tell me about something else. No, 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 no. Okay. Now we can talk to Sulik. We be here. Tell me, uh, tell me what's going on in yeah, town. More questions for Sulik. Uh, fucking spirits. Tell me about that. Yeah, Ask more something else. For Ask something else. You for? Now that you're free, why not travel with me? We're there. Grandpa Bones say we might find sis with you. I hope so. In any case, it'll be nice to travel with you and uh, your grandfather's bone. Not just Grampy Bone, all tribe spirits. Grampy Bone just wiser and stronger than the rest. Let's ease on down. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, Sulik. What you be needing? Well, why don't you consult the spirits for me? The spirits are sometimes hard to understand. They see things you and we can't. What do they tell you about this place? The grass is greener across the fence, but you must first find that fence. Okay, thanks. Let's see. Uh, we got 500 experience points for that. Should have also gotten a karma boost. Yeah. We're a defender now. Goody good. We are idolized in Klamath as well. Okay, um... We should talk to you, though, about some things. I need to talk to you about your gear. I need you to wait here till I come back. Let's actually go ahead and see. Okay, he's got his sledge. He's got some armor. We'll have him hang on to all the other stuff that I do not want. Um, I don't know if we need these boots. 
beyond that, maybe we do? I, uh, we'll have you, we'll have you hang on to that. Doesn't tell me how much it weighs. Um, I want to sell those. Yeah, we'd better, we better hang on to the boots. Just in case we come into another toxic area. I would also have him hang on to that, but I don't think it weighs too much. So we'll trade this. Now we can also control his combat here. Let's see. Uh, use your armor. Use your best weapon. Uh, disposition. Berserk. Aggressive. He was apparently on aggressive. Defensive. Customize. So you run away when you need a tourniquet, ranged, ranged weapon, ranged, then melee. Okay. Charge, attack the strongest. Stim packs when you're hurt a lot. Be careful not to hit me. That all sounds good, I guess. Um, we'll be giving you a ranged weapon at some point, I'm sure. Was it custom or was it aggressive? I'm going to have to look back at that. But anyway, uh, that's it for now. And before I go loading up on inventory, yeah, why don't we go ahead and finish this quest here? Let's see. Got a quick save again. Okay, because now we can finish this last quest. If we look at Pit Boy, Status, Clamath, okay. Let's go talk to you. Hello there, feller. Back to see Whiskey Bob again, huh? Ready to talk about drinks and business and such like? Sure, Bob. Tell me about drinks and business. Always nice to find another drinking buddy. Want to buy me a drink? Talking always makes me thirsty. Well, with a nickname like yours, Whiskey Bob, maybe you should be providing the drinks yourself. I don't want you to be my drinking partner. Now get a shit. Okay, now we, we just have to do it again. Uh, fair enough. You're a sharp one. Now there's no denying it. Uh, here's some booze. Now in return, you get to listen to my little problem. Well, you see, I have a little side business that I need some attendant to. I have a moonshine still outside of town that needs to be fueled up every so often, since a gecko done bit my leg. I can't hobble out to I can't hobble out to it before it runs out of fuel. If I tell you where it is, would you refuel it for me? It's worth 50 bucks to me. Uh, okay, that doesn't sound too bad. Tell me more. All you have to do is find a little shack just south of town. Go inside and dump some firewood into the still. Then come back here, and I'll give you your money. But it needs to be done within the next day, or my batch of hooch will go bad. Sounds pretty easy, okay. Uh, we can try and get more money out of this, I guess. Fifty bucks doesn't sound like nearly enough for a job like that. Nice try there, but fifty bucks is all the job's worth. Heck, I can't afford to pay more. All right, I'll do it. All you gotta do is find a little shack just south of town. Go inside and dump the firework. It sounds pretty easy. Let's do it. You'll do it? Great. Remember, you gotta do it soon or my hooch will go bad. Thanks a heap. See you back here soon. Sure. See you in a day. Uh, first, though, I believe it's right here. There's Smiley. Let's talk to Smiley. I sure owe you for saving my hide. The least I can do is teach you something in return. Teach? Since those geckos nearly had my hide, let me teach you how to get theirs. Here's how you skin them. Smiley demonstrates. And then you kill them. When you kill them, you can get their hides and sell them, okay? Uh... Sure, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Tell me something else, though. Uh, I got a few questions about hunting geckos. Well, I guess I know more about geckos than anyone else. I was raised on gecko milk, you know, but it'll take a few hours. Uh, okay, teach me all you can about the geckos. I don't know what this actually does. There's more than you need to know than you'll ever need to know. Uh, yes, go ahead, I'm listening. Well, you see, it's like this. Golden geckos and regular geckos are basically the same critter, except the golden's got a bit, big second helping of the sheer cussedness. Time passes as you learn the lore of the gecko. That's great. I think I know a lot more about geckos now. Thanks, and goodbye. Okay, uh, hopefully too much time didn't pass, otherwise we just got Smiley's deal uh, wrong. <laughs> okay, I got some bullets here. You know what? Let's, um... Let's go do that. 
I can maybe trade... Coming? I can maybe trade uh, some stuff here. Can't stand a little competition. Hey there, friend. A little bird told me that you know where to... Old Whiskey Bob has it still. I sure would like to know where that is. Uh, why do you want to know where that is? Well, Bob's getting in the way of certain business partners. I don't mind the competition, but they sure do. I'll pay 50 bucks to a smart cookie that can tell me where the still is. No other action required. Uh, uh, well, that's interesting. I don't think I should tell you where the still is. 50 bucks is a good price, especially when I don't need to do anything myself yet. I don't think I should tell you where it is. Forget I mentioned it then. Not a big thing. Okay. Because we would otherwise uh, piss off Whiskey Bob. I'd like to trade with your special sources. Now, I'm not sure exactly what we would have learned, but I don't think it's anything I wouldn't have otherwise known anyhow. 105? Okay. Now what was the thing of these? 97. Fantastic. And you can throw in a little bit more. Good. Did time go... Okay, time didn't go by any further after that. This is where we're at. All right. There's some geckos up here. Oh, now you see me, you bastard. I forgot. <laughs> Are those rocks going to prevent me from shooting? The answer is no. Doesn't help if you just lay them out like that. I really need you to actually hurt the thing. Check my inventory. Hmm. Said something about uh, put firewood in the still. Yeah, I better I better try this one with a gun. shot. Good. Uh, only knocks him unconscious, though, so that didn't really... Well, I had an opportunity where I could have hit him, but... Hit him when he's down. There you go. Thank you very much. Good. Money, money. And everyone in town has money now. Mm. Come on, little guy. Critically hit for 10 points, knocking the stuffing out of it. <sighs> I should get a major bonus when he's prone. Oh, come on. Well, I guess I am hitting it. Just not in a meaningful way there. And it's killed. Just free money lying on the ground. everywhere. I should probably make my way into the shack first. I think we'll have more than enough time. How's the, uh... Okay. I don't necessarily want that. Dead. Sort of singing a battle song. 
It's getting hit, so I don't really like that. <laughs> Did all that for nothing. Silic was hit for one point. Okay. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, there's a there's a golden out there. Well, it's uh, free experience and free money. Can we sneak up on this? <laughs> Come on. get in here. There's a door right there. Okay, what do we got? Apparently I'm gonna have to walk a little closer. Sulik, I would really rather you didn't get that guy aggroed while you're out there. Take a look. Looks like firewood to me. Sulik, why are you out there? Okay. Uh, well, okay, so we use the item. Sounds as though the hooch still is distilling nicely now. You gain 100 experience. Perfect. Let's, uh, quick save and go clean up. Did I grab this? I did. Good. All right. Come here, you bastard. God damn it. Thank you, Sulik. That's pretty good. Man. Alright, well, I guess I know what I'm doing with my next points then. Sulik, could you actually maybe hit him instead of shove him? <sighs> All right. How many more do we have? Oh, man. There's actually quite a lot. Notice me? I gotta say, I really underestimated the amount of dodge my high agility would give me. I was really only thinking about it in terms of uh, what it could do for my, my skills and perception. 
A, level up. All right. I'm tempted. Let's see. I think I want to get this to 70. And then the rest of you can go in here. Maybe speech. No, we need, we need to spend at least one level on this. This is getting ridiculous. Or how about we lower it? Really? Okay. Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping. Well, <clears throat> now see, here's the thing. Let's back this up. Because I can still get magazines to help. And I don't remember the threshold for when they stop being useful. So let's maybe... Let's maybe do like this instead. I can still find some guns and ammo, or some bullets and whatever the magazine was, to get that boosted up. So maybe I should be looking at that. Alright. Alright, we got you. Let's try it now. Still not too great. Yeah, not too great at all, in fact. Uh, well, let's just... Pull you back. Come back towards Sulik, I guess. Kinda wanna actually see... 81%, okay. 81 hit points, that's fine. Try it again. Very good. Maybe I can hit it in the leg to slow it down? Well, I got him. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. But I got him. Thank you. Finally a big swing. Dang it. Now... If I'm not mistaken, critically hit and hit randomly. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, golden geckos also have poisonous blood, or poisonous bites, don't they? Kind of tired of getting hit. I am still radiated. They have radiated, ra ra <laughs> irradiated bites. Damn you. I only had two rad levels, so maybe I should have saved that, but... Okay. From now on, we're gonna do some hit and running. I don't believe the little guys are poisonous, but wherever that golden still is at, that one's gonna be a pain. Perfect. Yeah. So between this and the uh, the gecko caves or the toxic waste or whatever it's called, um, pretty profitable. Oh, you sneaky bagger. That's... you just wandered there. You didn't spawn there, surely. There's one up there, too. Alright. Conserve a little ammo here. Maybe I should tell him to stay closer so he can actually get a hit in and enjoy some of this with a on that. Might be a good idea. It's just free money. What you be need? Let's talk about our distance what from one another. You need us at? Why don't you uh why don't you stay close to me? We be like ugly on you. Okay. <laughs> Great. I would I would at least like you to benefit f with me on some of the, uh, the extra hits. Take that. 
one, and one more, and we can go. And be trading for some more ammo here, it looks like. I probably want to trade for a lot more ammo. More than just one case of it. Okay. It does look as though this is the last one on the map. Um, all right, we'll take a shot. Oh, shouldn't be shooting in front of Sulik there. Thank you, Sulik. Lucky I'm a better shot. All right, uh, do another quick saving. And we ought to be good to go back. So yeah, we can uh, we can just come back here again on some of our trips. We can I think I read that they replenish maybe every week. I don't know how long it takes for things to respawn. Uh, you. Well, thanks for refueling my still for me. Here's your 50 bucks. Got any questions I can answer? Uh, why don't you tell me what's going on in town? Things have slowed down recently. Nothing really to tell you. Yeah, no, no kidding, huh? A uh, uh, den? <laughs> Did you say a den? Uh, what kind of den? Not a den. The den. You'll not find a greater hive of scum and villainy. Now, where'd I hear that? In any case, it's a rough sort of place. A few days travel south of Klamath. Anything can be had there for a price. Even slaves. But you have to be very careful there. Lots of short tempers attached to dangerous weapons. I don't think they have much to do with us, though we're too poor here. I think it, I'd be safe enough there. I know how to handle myself. Let me ask you something else. Uh, I need to ask about... Have you ever heard of a Garden of Eden creation kit? Garden of Eden creation kit? Why, I think I saw one of those listed on a page in an old catalog I was looking at a while ago. Did we, did we already ask this? I'd like to see that catalog. I uh, used it to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Business? What kind of business? Right. Um, barter. He's only got seven bucks. Is that worth anything? That's not worth anything. We could probably drop that, I imagine. I'll hang on to it and drop it later. I'll, I'll look it up and see what I can get out of it. Uh, we want to save those. What is one of these worth? 35. Way more than you got. All right, go back to talking. What do you say? Things have slowed down recently. I don't think I need to listen to all that right now. Well, mister, maybe I'll be seeing you around later. Okay, it's time to go recover all of our goods and turn it into cash. Dog and Sulik here are getting in my way. Take all that. Head back to the stash. Last trip will be to the bathhouse. Sulik is already on his way <laughs> to the bathhouse, apparently. You really ought to follow me. You cannot carry that much stuff. Can I carry that much? Sulik. What you be needing? You'll just give me this stuff, right? Good. much easier than having to pickpocket your own allies like in the first game. What you be need? Still is a little bit clumsy though. Okay. I guess I'll hang on to that.
All right, 10 of these, uh, that ought to do me. Between that and these, I think we'll be okay. In fact, I could probably split them between the two of us. Why don't I do that? Because we're not done yet. Man, I got a lot of crap here. I hope we'll be able to sell a good amount of it. So, he can handle guns, but not the kind we've got right now. You know what? I, I think I'm okay. Head out to here first. Or here first. You can only go so far, I guess. Now, I guess I could. It doesn't really matter who I talk to first because either way, uh, my my sale price is not as uh, good. Uh, I'd like to trade. Special source is done. Um, like I get, I get nothing selling to him at any kind of remarkable discount or anything of that sort. So let's see. Uh, so Sulik already has a sledge. We don't need that. Actually. I think I need to collect those, but I can give him that. We're already over. Thing is, though, well, I was thinking I could trade for that, and then uh, I guess I could get Sulik that. Some Rataways, maybe. Since I've used up both of mine already, actually, that'd be that'd be a smart idea. Okay. We'll just be careful. We'll just be careful. Holy shit. Um. Well, we do, we do need some ammo. Should I take all of it? Okay. Okay, I feel better about that. We'll take all that. Apparently, these are overpriced, so I won't be trading for that. Just need to give him 75 more. Oh yeah, I was gonna leave. I was gonna leave a few things for old what's-his-face. Rest of this stuff looks like I want to keep. So you can take back uh, 44. Trade. So you're helping goodbye. All right. Well, as uh, as per usual, this is just going to be me making some money here. So if you don't want to watch this, probably the next. Five or ten minutes is just going to be me screwing around again. Oh, actually, no, wait a minute. We're going to go to the bathhouse after all this. Sulik is totally ready to go. He's like, what you be waiting for? All right, I'm going to leave you the flower. I'm going to leave you your key so you can get into Trapper Town. And I'm going to leave your three flasks there. The rest of this is all coming with me. Key card we can give to Sulik. All right, so, so look. What you be need? We be trading. Uh, you can have that for now. I won't need that for a while. You can have that. In fact, you can have that. I guess I'll keep the lizards on a stick. You can have that. I will keep those. You can keep my cards for me. You can keep the cat's paw. Apparently, these are some naughty magazines, and, uh, Flipping through them as I did. Gaz Jr. here is ready to go try some stuff out for real, but we need to, to wait just a minute. Uh, we don't need those. 20 pelts. I wonder if I can carry this many. Keep the Molotovs. Uh, I think we can sell all of these, but we only want two, so you keep one. I'll trade you back for it later. Weight of 85. Right. 
Well, we probably have to figure out another place to sell those off anyhow, so... Okay, just to make sure, we got one crowbar. We do have a crowbar. Okay. To that end, I could probably also give him my tool, but... I'll be fine. Okay. like to trade just in case I can get some good stuff in return. What, what good stuff? Nothing good stuff. Okay, so 44. What can we get for 44? How much are these? Too much. Gonna be a hassle. How much? Just one. 65 even is too much. Crowbars are valuable. Even that's too much. Criminy. These guys need to have more money on them. So this is worth what? Five? No. It's worth 25. Ah, oh, Jesus. 40. I don't think I've got anything else. Alright, you can keep four coins there, buddy. Thank you and goodbye. Now let's go... talk to Meta. And I would like to... Uh, you're back, huh? I hope you're taking care of Sulik. I'm sure he's lost without me telling him what to do. Uh, I'm back because I need something. I think we can just go straight into barter. We don't need to fluff around with that. So how much do you have? 195. So I can just basically get that for three crowbars. I uh, throw in some hooch. We need a few of them, I guess. Holy shit, they're expensive. Um, God damn. I know where we can get one of these here in a moment. So, yeah, I'll just sell you three crowbars. Damn. I'm not able to trade much here at all. Well, I'm sure I can't do as good a job of taking care of them as you did, but I'll sure try. What can I help you with? Uh, I guess I don't need anything right now. All right. All right, all right. Back out here, please. So, you be needing? we need to trade. We need to take all my trade goods. Lizard on a stick, I will keep. Okay, that looks, that looks good. I could... I could have him hold on to these. These are quest items. Just pull them out when I need them, because they do weigh something. Yeah, they do weigh something, so... I just don't remember how much. Well, it's a, t together they weigh seven pounds, so I mean, you know... That's it for now. Now, I should be able to find out... Uh, what his weight capacity is. I think he can hold up to 200 pounds, but I don't remember how to see that. Well, anyway. All right. Before we get out of here, I'd like to go take a bath. You see a plump older woman with a large nose. You see Big Nose Sally owner of the bathhouse. Before we go any further, you gotta know that the baths are for individuals, not groups. You can make your own arrangements, and then your friends can do as they please on their own. Okay. 
My name is Sally Dunton, but mostly they call me Big Nose Sally. I'm the owner of this here bathhouse. We have a whole house full of special attended baths for you to pick from. Uh, what kind of special attended baths do you have here? Actually, wait. She's got money. 47 coins. I don't know what that's going to do for me there. I, if I wonder if I buy this bath, if she'll have more money. Or is it going to be like, what's his face? And it's just going to... What kind of special attended baths do you have? The special baths that we have are available vary in cost and by the amount of time that the gal spends with you and any special services you take advantage of. You know, real life girl, sign me up. The baths that we have available are a washcloth hand wipe, a brief full body wash, and lastly, the round the world full squeaky clean surfacing offered by the beautiful and talented Jenny, recently trained at the finest house in the den. I think I can get by with a hand wipe. Uh, the idea of a full body wash, what's that going to cost? Beautiful and talented. I've got to hear more about this. I don't think I'm ready to take a bath. Can I mix and match? How about a discount? Uh, beautiful and talented. i got to hear more about that round the world full of squeaky clean wash. I don't know if Jenny will even take you in, that, in the condition you're in. You're going to need a thorough no-nonsense scrubbing first to herself. I wonder if Gerda is free for that. With the cost of the pre-scrubbing, Around the world, full squeaky clean servicing is only $185. I wonder if that's because I'm irradiated or because I'm not at full health. I get both Gerda and Jenny? What a bargain. Is Gerda that larger mustachioed woman? I better hear the other choices again. I don't think I can afford this right now. I'm going to leave. Gerda isn't really a woman at all, is she? I don't want to be scrubbed down by a burly drag queen. I'm out of here. Uh, I mean, shit. This should only cost me $125 normal, but uh, fine, let's do it. So we can talk to Jenny. We can talk to Jenny anyway. We don't have to do this. But if I want, uh, if I want to start my experience here, here's my 185 bucks. I think you'll enjoy Jenny bathing you more than any bath you've ever had. Gee, Mister, that was pretty quick. You must be pretty new at this sort of thing. Just relax a bit, and you'll enjoy it more. Thanks, Jenny. I guess I need some practice at this. You're different from the usual group around here. Tell me what goes on here. Would you like to know? Well, tell me about the trappers. Well, there's not much to tell about the trappers, really. They get a few gecko pelts, or get lucky with a few golden geckos, and then they come in to blow off some steam. Quick and not too demanding, just the way I like them. Uh, let's ask about something else. I'm looking for a trader. Know any of them that deal in old items, like from the before times? You're interested in traders, huh? Well, I mostly just work for one trader. Vic was his name. He always had extra money to blow, at least when he worked, he did. See, he specialized in really old stuff. You know, technical thingies. Tell me more about Vic. Vic was a real sweetheart. He would go off for weeks at a time and then come back with all kinds of before-time things. But he often had to travel to the den to sell them. Not much call for that sort of stuff around here. Where's Vic now? I don't rightly know where Vic is. I know he has a house just down the street from us, to the east. He could be out trading with tribals, or even in the den, for all I know. I hope he's okay. He was getting to be more than just a steady customer to me. Okay, uh, where's the den? <sighs> the den is a hive of scum and villainy southeast of here. I guess it's about a week or so? Don't remember too clearly. Anyhow, it's an exciting place. Dangerous, but exciting. Sorry to leave there. Sorry to leave there, in a way. Uh, did he ever have anything that was labeled Vault Tech? Vault Tech? He might have had something like that. I'm not sure. I know he did have a lot of really old stuff. Thanks. Let's ask about something else. Um, do you know how to get to the den from here? The den is a high. Okay, yes. Ask something else. Uh, have you ever heard of something called a geck? Geck? What's that? Some kind of small gecko, I'd guess. Sorry, I don't know what else it could be. Okay, let me ask you something else. Alright, I guess that's all I need to know from you. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. I better get ready for another customer, though. Goodbye. And just like that, we've lost the uh, Virgin of the Wastelands perk, or whatever it is. Did my karma go down because of this? I thought it was 350. Maybe I'm misremembering. I often misremember things. Okay. You don't belong in here, little girl. Okay. Uh, 40, 47 buccarinos. Now, before we do that, uh, I'm going to quick save, and we're going to go... Look about the place. Can I have that? Oh, there's some junk on the floor over here. 
How old are you? If you want to play a game, why don't you, uh... Hey. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna poke through your things here, right in front of you. Get some girly magazine, or uh, posters on the wall, I guess. Some beer? Let's go talk to the girls. Woman's checking you out. Middle-aged woman with an ample bosom. Wolf whistle. Okay. Just kind of come in here. And don't mind us as we just wander through your your territory and uh, rifle through your things here. She's got a bat baton. She's got a club. You know what? I think I'll leave that because uh, she probably needs it for certain clients. Attractive young woman wearing partially fastened clothing. Like what you see? I do. I like that thing poking out of your pocket better, though. I'll just take that. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. That's not good. Come on. Here. This is for the extra charge. We'll just consider it that way. But I won't steal from the girls and their livelihood. I just want this magazine. It's probably an old issue anyway. What do you need with it? Uh, F6. This time I should hopefully get away with it. Damn it! Is it because I got people in here watching? Come here. What you be needing? I want you to wait here till I come back. We be here. Shouldn't be this hard. I just want the magazine. Can I get it from anywhere else? There we go. Uh, if I had that flower, I'd still... I, I could give her a flower <laughs> in return for the magazine. But then again, I also got caught trying to put a flower in uh, that one kid's pocket. Come up and see me sometime. I see an attractive young woman face covered with a light dusting of some kind of white powder. She's wielding a cattle prod. With 20 shots of small energy cell. Hmm. What is on here? She's got rope. She's got some herb stuff that I can take. I don't think I need that, though. She probably needs that for her clients. And we already got a rope, so... We will, uh... We will allow... The girls keep their stuff. I just wanted the magazine and the beer and whatever was on the table there. I, what would be on the table there? It's just a pile of stuff. What do you think? Who do you think that belonged to? Clients that got kicked out? What you Gifts, be maybe? All right, let's go. What you be needing? Okay. I think we are done in Klamath. Uh, aside from, you know what, I'm going to make myself a note because I am going to forget otherwise uh, that I need to come back to the Toxic Caves and uh, check out that elevator when I can repair the uh, well, the generator. Generator. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything to come back here for. I think I got everything that I needed. So that is most excellent. So... I will uh, end this one here, and next time... Okay, that's not going to show me. 
the world map. We gotta go outside. Uh, next time, we'll uh, we'll head off to the den and hopefully find Vic. I'll see you then. <laughs>